The dragon dance is a well-known part of Chinese culture. But while the rest of the nation uses props with the dancers inside, Zhenjiang has its own special take on this ancient Chinese tradition. It's called the human dragon. And we're about to find out a little bit more about it. I think this is the leader over here. Can you tell me a little bit about why you use people in the dragon in Zhenjiang? Oh, we... This The Zhenjiang version of the Dragon Dance uses teenage boys to connect each adult. The first adult in the procession has two additional boys attached to him, one sitting on his shoulders waving arms like horns, and the other strapped to his chest working the dragon's jaw. Each of the other adult dancers are connected by a boy. Like human vertebrae, they sit on the shoulders of the man beneath them, wrap their legs around their arms, then lie back with synchronised grace to put their heads on the right shoulder of the next adult down the line, securing themselves by wrapping their hands around the dancer's neck. How much practice does it take to, to pull this off? Uh, Boys don't wear shoes, and practice is commonly held in places where an accidental fall won't hurt them, like the beach. Because coordination is absolutely crucial, the dancers tend to hail from the same village, the close affinity lending their performance and agility, an almost otherworldly grace. And it looks like they want me to enter the dragon. <laughs> Ready to go. I need I need somebody who's quite small. <laughs> Yeah, I can do it. 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 Yeah, I can do it.
Dragon is harder work than you could possibly imagine. Thank you, Sessini. Zhenjiang's human dragon dance is the product of many converging local cultures, including totem worship from northern China, the unique culture of Fujian where most of Zhenjiang's ancestors hail from, and the indigenous seafaring culture of the peninsula. It is a form of entertainment and also a form of worshipping ancestors, the sea, and the land.